My name is Nicole Gendrish, and I did my Remembering Digital Storytelling Project on Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman was the first woman of African American descent to become a pilot. Bessie Coleman was born on January 26, 1892, in Atlanta, Texas. She had 12 other brothers and sisters birthed from Susan and George Coleman. Her parents both worked as sharecroppers. Her father, who was of a Native American and African American descent, left the family in search of better opportunities in Oklahoma when Bessie was just a child. Her mother did her best to support the family, and the children contributed as soon as they were old enough to help. Being a part of two marginalized groups historically deemed inferior, black females figured in a distinctive way different from either black men or white women. In 1896, when Bessie Coleman was just four years old, the Supreme Court ruled in Plessy v. Ferguson, a landmark upholding separate but equal racial segregation as constitutional. At 12 years old, Coleman began attending the Missionary Baptist Church in Texas. She was a good student. Bessie excelled in math and loved reading. After graduating, she embarked on a journey to Oklahoma to attend the Oklahoma Colored Agricultural and Normal University, Langston University, where she completed only one term due to financial constraints. When Coleman was 23 years old, she moved to Chicago to live with her brothers and worked as a manicurist. Not long after her move to Chicago, she began listening to and reading stories of World War I pilots, which sparked her interest in aviation. Breaking Barriers In 1922, a time of both gender and racial discrimination, Coleman broke barriers and became the world's first black woman to earn a pilot's license. She was an example of determination and strength to women and girls of any race. Bessie looked into going to flying school, but no school would accept her because she was black. She searched for black flying instructors, but they wouldn't train her either because she was a woman. The publisher of the Chicago Defender newspaper heard of Bessie's predicament and encouraged her to study flight abroad. Bessie took French lessons and was funded by the newspaper to move to France so that she could learn to fly. Bessie did learn French and she moved to France to achieve her goal. After only seven months, Coleman earned her license from France's well-known Quadrum Brothers of Aviation. Bessie then took additional courses to improve her flying skills and then she flew home to the United States where she was met with much media fanfare. As soon as she returned to America, she wanted to become a stunt flyer, but that required advanced lessons and no one in the United States would train her, so she went back to Europe and was trained in the Netherlands. When she returned to the US, Coleman specialized in stunt flying, barnstorming, parachuting, and performing aerial tricks. On June 15, 1921, Bessie Coleman was the first person of African American descent in the world to earn an international pilot's license. In 1922, she became the first African American woman to stage a public flight in America. Her high flying skills always wowed her audience. She became known as Queen Bess and had admirers of both black and white communities. She remains a pioneer of women in the field of aviation. Bessie enjoyed the attention and dreamed of opening a flight school someday. Tragically, on April 30, 1926, Bessie died in a terrible plane accident during a rehearsal for an aerial show. She was thrown from a plane and fell 2,000 feet to her death. She was only 34 years old. 
Bessie Coleman left her mark on the flying community for both women and people of African American descent. She paved the way for others to achieve their dream of flight, no matter their race or gender. My name is Nicole Jenner.